Hey everybody, today we will be going over the basics of how to use the enhanced input system inside of Unreal Engine C++. Let's start by creating a new input action. To do so, we're going to right click, go to input, input action. I'm gonna call mine IA Interact. Now that it's created, we can open it up and select the value type that we'd like. If we need a basic on off, like a button press, we could use digital. If we needed something that would give us a value between negative one and one, we would use axis 1D through axis 3D, depending on how many va access values that we needed. For this, I'm just going to keep it with digital, which is the Boolean value. Now we'll want to add this to the input uh, mapping context. We can do that by clicking the add input here. Then we will select the new one, which is uh, IA interact. And then down here, we can click on this keyboard and press E to bind it to the E key. Now we'll need to add it to the player character in C++. Don't forget to save everything before closing the editor. Inside of the player characters dot H file, we'll need to add a new property for the input action that we just created. We can do that by copying the existing one, which has the U property of edit anywhere, allowing us to set the input action from within the blueprint that we have. Now we will need to change the name. I'm going to change mine to interact action. Interact action. Now that we have the property, we'll want to add a method to bind it to. If we come down, we can see the void look uh, input, uh, sorry, the void look action. We can just copy this as well down here and make a couple quick changes. And I'm going to actually call mine interact, interact e event. And we can change this uh, interact input. There we go. And then we just need to create this uh, in our .cpp file. And we can generate the definition here. Once this has been generated, if we scroll up in our character.cpp file, we just need to bind it uh, in the setup player uh, input component. We can do that again by copying the look action. And we just need to make a subtle change here so we don't want the look action, we want the interact action, which is the uh, property that we just completed, uh, just, just made. And then we just need to change it from look to uh, interact event. And now it's bound. So anytime the button is pressed, it will call the uh, method that we created down here and any code inside of this will then execute. If we want to have it trigger, which will uh, allow us to hold, press and hold, and it will run it over and over again, uh, we could do that. But if we wanted it to uh, only operate on the down and the up, we could complete this. Sorry, we could change this. So completed, which means that uh, when you uh, lift your finger off the E button, it will uh, run this. And if we wanted it to do on when we start pressing down, we could change this to start. Now that everything's bound, we just want to actually have it do something on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the interact event and we're going to have this log uh, out whenever the button is pressed. So we'll use G engine and then we can do add on screen debug message. And then we would do minus one 15 point OF, uh, F color, uh, set this to uh, say yellow, and then we can do text and just give it something here, which will say interact event pressed or internet interact button pressed. Now that the logging set up, let's open this up inside of the Unreal Editor and finish setting this up for the player to actually press the button and have it do something. We'll want to go Content Drawer, uh, Blueprint 
third person character or whatever your character is, you can just come up to the search input here and just uh, type in input. And we'll see that the interact action is now here because that's what we called it in our C++. If you change the name, it will have a different name here. And what we're going to want to do is click this drop down menu here and click uh, on the interact uh, event action that we created earlier at the beginning. So mine's going to be IA interact. And then we can just hit save, compile. And now when we run, it actually shows the interact in the top left corner here. This is really everything that you need to get started with the enhanced input system in C++. Everything else is going to be the same in uh, both Blueprints and C++ from here out. So if you like this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Leave some comments down below if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos. And thank you for watching.